Hi everyone, welcome back. You've reached Natural Vibration and this is uh, the Twin Flame reading for the upcoming week. I've done things a bit differently this time. This is an overall energy read. Uh, there's no Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine in this read. Um, you know, eventually we're going to start becoming one, right? Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, we're going to be one. We're going to have, we do have Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine within us. So this is just an overall energy read for the Twin Flame dynamic and overall energy for the upcoming week. So that, <clears throat> so the overall energy for this week is Capricorn. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and caution and ambition. So I'm going to read this from the book. This is the astrology reading cards, by the way. The energy around you is a great gift if you're trying to complete a project or, or succeed in a task, for it encourages hard work, stamina, and material achievement. Whatever the environment, you have a, steady, a rock steady energy that will give you tremendous success in time. This zodiac sign is known for its shrewdness and wise caution. Matters can be approached seriously and contently, for Capricorn knows above all the other zodiac signs it can win. Capricorn never loses. It cannot be beaten. It doesn't matter if it takes years and years. Capricorn will triumph in the end, because this masterful sign exists for achievement, and it doesn't miss a single step until it is there. If you're facing a scenario that requires authority, you will, have, you will find you have it, and you should be able to find the person that, or you should be able to find the person that can give it. This energy is shrewd, and it can make you aware of the hidden agenda or help you develop your own. It brings an ability to pack a bag with the absolutely the right kit and tools for the job. So if you are a mountain climber, you will be well equipped for the accent, ascent, sorry. <laughs> As you can see from the image on the card, the mountain goat is well able to carry the heavy panniers, 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 I don't know, up the mountain and seem quite happy with this load. This energy brings to mind the saying, if a job is worth doing, it is worth doing well, and there is no time for frivolity. One thing that can be achieved is a sense of having worked for the success that makes it all the more worthwhile. Sometimes the easy road can make something meaningless since it wasn't worked for. To have, the to have a purpose is to be fulfilled. All right, so this week, I feel, is all about success, but also having the determination to go after what you want, you know, and doing it properly. So I feel this week, it could be the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine, the energy is all about going after what you want and doing it the right way. Having the strength and courage that no matter how difficult the journey has been is to be able to move forward with the conviction that it can happen and I'm strong enough to do this. Now, this, for the divine masculine, this could be them finally getting the courage to move forward towards the divine feminine. And once we go into the other cards, it is very positive, all right? From the divine feminine's point of view, this could also be having the courage to face certain things or know that things can happen. Know that despite the fact that this journey is difficult, it will be worth it in the end. You know, so having that conviction. Now we've got New Love from the Romance Angel deck by Dorian Virtue. We've got Chemistry. We've got engagement and we've got codependency. So, which is weird because we've got like such positive cards and codependency. Now, what this is telling me is that first of all, there is a big possibility that something new is going to happen this week. All right. Um, for those of you who are in touch with their twins or there could be... Um, an increased level of commitment there that could be for example if you're just talking sporadically you might start talking regularly if you haven't heard from them you might hear from them if you've been together you might take it to the next level the other aspect is that there might be a new blossoming of love in this twin flame dynamic which means there is a possibility for again contact with people that you haven't had been in touch with at all for example being in touch with your twin flame the other aspect is that your, your divine masculine 
has now realized that even though this diff- this this uh, journey is difficult it is worth it because they feel a very strong magnetic connection to the divine feminine and they are now wanting wanting at least to start something new to take things to the next level with the divine feminine however we do have codependency now this could be both for the masculine and the feminine what this is telling me is that there is a little bit of an issue of codependency this could be overthinking negative thinking lower vibration this could be over drinking over eating this is just basically allowing the negative as negative vibes take control of your life and this could be for the divine masculine as well and this uh, the divine masculine has to fight this so that he can know that no matter how difficult this journey is it is worth it and for the divine feminine if you've been dealing with this this week is all about realizing that you have the courage to make this happen because this journey is worth it and things are changing and will change and that's what this card is telling us this line is telling us now we've got divine timing these are the mystic moon oracle decks spring twin flame this card has come up so many times today fresh start and unawaken so when we got the unawaken card i asked for some clarity and we've got communication and return so first of all for some of you this is just reaffirming that you have to be strong enough to know that this is a twin flip dynamic maybe the divine masculine is understanding a little bit of this dynamic the divine feminine are being reminded that this negative vibrations coming because you're not understanding how the twin flame journey is supposed to be there is separation you know because you're supposed to heal the one of the biggest issues i've seen so far is that there are a lot of people who want union to happen but they don't do the job they feel if they've not been in touch with their twin for a month or a week or a couple of days that that's just good enough and now they're ready to come back together but you know there've been stories of people being separated for 20 30 years because that is the journey they're meant to be on so you can never put a time limit on when this is supposed to happen the only thing you can do is work on your healing and most of you guys most of the people who are so adamant are not doing the work and i'm not saying all of you so please understand that but you have to understand that work is constantly needed trust me i went on a healing day yesterday with all my teachers because i know i still need healing and i know i still have things i need to work on i am facing and i try to resist it too trust me and then it comes hitting like a brick you know like a like a truck load of bricks and like you got to do the work you know that's what i i went to my 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 guru my teacher my shaman yesterday who's been teaching me he's in town from the us and he told me he is like you need to do you you know what you need to do you've got to that like six months is all about your healing and only then can you manifest things to happen and there you go so this is telling you that you have to understand that the twin flame dynamic requires you to work the other thing is you got to understand that everything happens in divine timing the unawakened can return but it will all happen in divine timing now we have fresh start which again is a very positive card so i feel either you the divi- whoever is watching this the divine feminine most probably is watching this the divine feminine may start afresh which means with a new mindset i'm not saying you start a new relationship with somebody else some of you may want to do that but this is telling me that this week is all about starting fresh it was a new moon yesterday i'm recording this you know a little early this is telling me that it's all about starting fresh it is all about a new start a new cycle has started a new moon cycle has started it's this time for you to start afresh there is a possibility again that the divine masculine may want a fresh start because we've got new love and engagement here along with fresh start so this week there is a sign that there is can be communication or at least them wanting a fresh start the spring card can mean a couple of things something is blossoming something new is blossoming this week between you guys between you and your twin this could mean something that started happened in the spring time that is sort of affecting the situation this week may come come to head again or that some of you may actually end up having contact or union in spring which means the seeds are being laid right now for that 
for the unawakened card i got return and uh, and communication so what i'm feeling is that the unawakened person in this dynamic may finally return and want to communicate now this whether they are completely awakened we don't know yet which means there may be a separation again but it could also mean that they were unawakened but now they want to return and they want to communicate and tell you what they're feeling they may do that this week or they may just be feeling it i am going to <clears throat> pick one card and the overall energy for this upcoming week for all twin flames okay so energy for all twin flames for the upcoming week okay we've got two so take what resonates all right Min Takan, longing for home, belonging the original light worker. So this is all about going back home, wanting to be home, wanting to be who you're meant to be. This is about, this could be for the divine masculine, where they're finally realizing that they want to go back home to the divine feminine. They want to go back to where they belong where they're truly meant to be, going home, you know, it's like, E.T., go home, they want to go home, you know, and this for the divine feminine, it could be coming home to understanding who you are, if you're the divine feminine, it's about understanding how you're meant to be and where you belong and what is your life's purpose on this path, and then we've got Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it is happening, so again, this is a positive sign that Things are happening right now. This is very a very, very positive spread. There is something new starting this week. And this could just be a new mindset. This could be a new cycle. This could be a new pattern. Or this could actually be contact, union, taking the steps to the next level. It is happening right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, my throat chakra is activating now. <coughs> Also because I've done a bunch of readings. But this is telling me it is happening. So this is a very powerful week again coming up. I think we might be getting out of Mercury retrograde. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. I will have to double check that. But there's a new cycle, a new moon. Something new is starting. So guys, this was your overall Twin Flame um, update for this upcoming week. Again, please do like and subscribe my channel. It just allows me to do more videos like these. And it just lets me know that you know, that you guys do appreciate what I do and I get sort of like an energy exchange. I can, I also do private reading, so please do log on to my website for all details. Thank you. Bye.